Today let's consider the truth that God is omniscient, that he knows everything. I'm reading from Psalm 139, starting in verse 1. O Lord, you have searched me and known me. You know when I sit down and when I rise up. You discern my thoughts from afar. You search out my path and my lying down and are acquainted with all my ways. Even before a word is on my tongue, behold, O Lord, you know it altogether. You hem me in behind and before. You lay your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me. It is high. I cannot attain it. This passage, along with many others, reveal the truth that God knows everything, that he is omniscient. This is one of the attributes of God that is of great comfort. It's one of those that is not shared with us. We don't know everything. Our knowledge is limited. We don't know what will happen tomorrow or the next day or next week or next month. We don't know uh, what joys we'll experience over the next number of days. We don't know what trials we'll encounter over the next year. But God does. He knows all of these things. And he knows the entirety of our lives. He knows that you would experience this COVID-19 pandemic. And he knows exactly what will happen. He knows its end. He knows how this works into the fabric of your life. Working all things for good for those who love him and are called according to his purpose. And so take comfort today in this truth that God knows all things. Take comfort in two different ways. First, take comfort in that we don't have to know all things. It's okay that we don't know what will happen. It's okay that we don't know all the ins and outs of the virus or of the economy or what the future holds. God does. We can trust him with it. And then take comfort in the fact that God does know, that he knows all things, that he already sees the end and that he already sees how he will carry us through to the end of our lives on this earth. So take comfort today in this great truth that God knows all things and that we 